Good morning, everyone. This is Rafecal, and we are playing some more Adventures of Link. Today we're starting our quest from Sunny Mido, and we are going to start out with me doing something I should have done a long time ago. And that is <laughs> looking up where the one-ups in this game are. <laughs> Right here. Just getting this for safety. The next. Oh god. Luckily, we do have a ridiculous amount of attack power. So. Directly south of the King's Tomb, there is a secret passage that is only accessible for those with the Fairy spell. Which is what we got from Mido during the last video. I was being mean. <laughs> Not sure that that matters, but whatever. Okay, so South the King's Tomb, this takes us to the Graveyard Palace. Not have enough for oh. This is the fun time where I teach you that uh, sometimes when you get the red potion out from that statue, it turns into an iron knuckle. dead again already! Hooray! We're off to a great start. One more. We're doing it one more time. I believe. I believe. I shouldn't believe, but I believe. it clearly as it was intended. I forgot that those guys throw their clubs straight ahead. I was thinking that they threw them... Mm. I'm going to 
take this because I'm about dead and we've got plenty of XP right now. So the Graveyard Palace is a little out of the way. It's pretty straightforward, though, compared to... Uh, the last one was a lot of back and forth, and I don't think this one is. is a mistake. <laughs> what plan? There was no plan. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything specific I need to grab over here. able to... That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. By the way, all the skeletons are wearing helmets now, so that you can't downward thrust on them. And as an, a little odd thing here, this palace actually takes you outside for a, this one scene. Um, we're already where we need to be at XP, so if we have an opportunity to skip something, I'm totally okay with that. But at this point, we're going to have a, quite a bit. Let's see, B is going to be that way. Yep. We have two keys. Yeah. really not good. Um, I don't remember these guys being that hard. They are- he's wrecking me!
Maybe I'm used to building life up more? But this is... this is a lot. I'm honestly tempted at this point to take a death and walk back down here because I'm out of lives and I don't, like, I'm low on life even. I guess we'll try and get as far as we can because if we can get the last... Like, there's still one little side passage for a key. But that's, like, about all that this would be worthwhile for at this point. to get really lucky to actually get the... to kill the boss at this point. Oh god. You know what, There's, this is as good a place as any. <laughs> That's the last key. So, at this point, all we have to do is get back there. And the 800 XP should be simple. doesn't respawn. Good to know. goal for this time through is going to be to just cruise through. Off to a great start already. <laughs> 
We don't have to get any of the keys. We don't have to get the raft. I suppose technically we could even just come back to this dungeon later if we wanted to, but... I like doing them in this order. <laughs> and quite frankly, I'd like to get my, uh... My attack 7 out of this. Before we go on. was an easy enemy that I just died to. That was an enemy that I shouldn't have had to fight. <laughs> I am not feeling great about how I'm playing right now. Good thing there's not a boss that we have to fight after this. Oh wait. Okay, so this is about where we left off, actually. So the key we got last time opens this door, and from here we should have a straight shot to the boss. Just a couple more enemies on the way. placed uh, blocks leave, uh, left in place there. Let's get shield. We're not going to have enough to do a heal mid-battle, but we can try or, or do our first attempt here. So the first half of this fight is Knight on Horse. Once we take out the knight on horse, then it's just a pretty standard blue iron, uh, iron knuckle fight. Standard Blue Iron Echo fight for better or worse. Oh my god. So... <laughs> that gives us... another crystal. And... like, 4,000 experience to get up to 5,000 for that attack set. So at this point, we've got... a lot of experience.
Uh, attack 7 is actually... Like, the first few attack levels are notable boosts, but attack is kind of exponential as it goes. Um... I don't remember the exact numbers, but I think the, end, the last few are like... Like, it starts out doing, like, one damage, and then goes up to, like, two, three, four, and then it starts going up to, like, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four kind of thing. Where, not exponential then, doubling. Still, it's a lot. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything quick I can do before we continue. You know what? There's a couple things we can do quick, so let's just go ahead. We're gonna use the... Uh, we can't kill these guys. Uh, we're gonna cross over to East Hyrule. And get to the town of... Uh, I believe this should be Nibiru. What kind of name is that? <sighs> With boots, I could walk on the water. You know, I think that... I don't think that's how boots work, but... You know, you, you gotta dream. <laughs> some water? You have water? Come to my house. She couldn't be bothered to walk ten steps towards the fountain to get water herself. Whatever. This magic will make your sword shoot fire. We will probably never use this spell. <laughs> um, see a man in Darunia before the islands. Now, I feel like this is somewhat miscon... Uh, somewhat of a... Somewhat of a confusion here, because Darunia... We, we do have to go to Darunia before we go up into the island palace. But... We do have to go to the island before we go to Darunia. Those guys are also only hit- So the the enemies on the overworld that I said we couldn't kill, uh, it's because they are immune to regular attacks. You have to use fire against them. Okay. So we've taken the bridge to Maze Island. Now, the reason we're doing this is partially because this is where the next dungeon is, but before we go to the dungeon, there are two things to pick up. So what I'm gonna do is pick up the two things now, and the next time we're going to start by going to Darunia, if I don't get a game over on the way. So, we have rescued a lost child who will be joining us for the next part of our journey. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sure that they will have trauma from this, but, you know, that's not what this game's about. Um... There are pitfalls all over this map, but two of them will lead to the child that we rescued, and now this. And I think that's where we're going to wrap for now. Um, I'm going to need to... Or I'm going to go ahead and take a death. And we're going to wrap up for this uh, video. Next time we'll pick back up, returning the child back to their home, visiting Darunia to get uh, another sword technique and another spell, and then we'll return and uh, confront Maze Island and the, uh, the Island Palace. So, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.